Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Creepy Chaos Theory. Today we will focus on one of the most peculiar and controversial episodes of the Tom and Jerry series ever. The title of this episode is called Blue Cat Blues. Blue Cat Blues is quite frankly a rapid departure from the standard Tom and Jerry episodes that we've all grown up and come to love. The Tom and Jerry that we grew up with is the whimsical adventures of Tom the Cat and Jerry the Mouse. And the, every episode is usually focused around Tom trying to catch Jerry so he can eat him or whatever purposes he want to serve with Jerry. And usually Jerry's smart enough to always outsmart Tom and thwart all his plots. And that's usually how every episode goes, but there are different episodes where Tom and Jerry work together as allies to defeat a common enemy. The common enemy that Tom and Jerry must face in this episode is darker than anything they've ever faced before. This enemy is something we all know too well. Despair and sorrow. Despair and sorrow are two words that Tom and Jerry fans would never think that they would have to associate with this whimsical series, but it gets much worse than that. In this episode, the main feature is Tom and Jerry's apparent suicide. Suicide, despair, and death is pretty grim. So let me explain to you guys in detail how it came to be this way. The beginning of the episode shows a beautiful woman cat walking down the street. Despite Tom's efforts, he just can't compete with the wealthy cat Butch. Usually enemies, Jerry, having witnessed Tom's failures, tries to console him and does whatever he can to make him feel better. As it, Jerry too suffers the same fate as Tom. Within moments, Jerry witnesses the woman mouse of his dreams, the mouse, who having witnessed what just transpired, moves his leg over to reveal a mouse-sized spot. Jerry takes a seating position right next to Tom, and as they lower their heads in despair, the screen cuts to end, and train noises can be heard in the background. Hearing such a grim, detailed story of the end of the episode, it makes you wonder, why out of one of the most whimsical cartoon shows is Tom and Jerry depicted in such a dark nature in this particular episode? Well, I actually have a theory. I was thinking that maybe the show's creators, William Hanna and Joseph Barber, were going through relationship problems at the time this particular episode began production, so naturally, the creative process reflected their state of mind. It's not too much of a stretch to imagine this scenario. It's not like Tom and Jerry would be the first or last art creation to be reflective of its creator's inner vision and state of mind. For example, creator of the acclaimed Neon Genesis anime series, Hideki Anno, admitted during the anime's conception that he indeed struggled with severe bouts of depression and as such Neon Genesis is a very dark anime with themes of death, social injustice, war, religious themes and majority of the characters suffer from various forms of anxiety. So whether you believe that or not is up to you but that's just my theory. There is another popular theory and is often regarded by fans as the most believed is that Blue, Blue Cat Blues was the final episode of Tom and Jerry. Now I've actually did some research and there are plenty of episodes after Blue Cat Blues so I don't know where that claim might have came from but I was able to find that Blue Cat Blues was the last episode produced under Hanna Barbara and it shifted over to another production company. Of course all the rights are still owned by Hanna Barbara 
but it was still produced under another company. So that may have been the last Tom and Jerry episode that Hannah and Barbara themselves were truly, truly involved in. So, as much as, as believable as that theory is, it still doesn't explain 